Okay, acids and bases nomenclature. Okay, this is pretty much a follow-up to the polyatomic ions and the polyatomic variations. So now we're getting to those questions in the polyatomic in the polyatomic worksheet that I gave you, the ones that had the stars to them. Okay, that had the little AQ next to the uh, the compound. Okay, so acid base nomenclature. One type of acids that we're going to be looking at are what we call binary acids. Okay, binary meaning two, okay, and two pretty much atoms put together to form one actual molecule. Okay, these acids have only two different types of atoms in the formula. Okay, one of them, and the reason why we have they're, they're considered acids is because one of the atoms is always a hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen is one of the, the uh, first atoms. Okay, and we're going to look more about how the importance of the hydrogen in that atom as we get to uh, acids and bases closer to the end of the unit. Okay. The other atom is always some kind of a simple non-metal. Okay. It's just one non-metal. So one of the ones to the right of the aluminum staircase. Okay. And I'll give you guys time to, to copy this down if you don't get it. So don't, uh, don't worry. Okay. Now, the binary acid name always starts with the prefix hydro. So we're going to add the word hydro to the name uh, of the, the following binary acid. Okay. And hydro represents the hydrogen aspect of it. Okay. Now with the name, we're looking at the nonmetal and the nonmetal we used to use the IDE ending, right? When we were naming uh, compounds with the nonmetal, but now the IDE ending now is no longer going to be an IDE ending. It's going to be an IC ending, and we're adding the word acid to it. Okay, so let's look uh, at an example here. Hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, because we're, we're naming this as an acid, okay, we have the hydrogen, and we call it hydro. Okay, the prefix hydro. We have a chlorine. Okay, so it's not a chloride. Okay, we have it as a chloric. Okay, and... The only other thing that's left is adding the word acid to the end. So it's a hydrochloric acid. Okay, notice that hydro, as we said, to, re to represent the hydrogen. <coughs> okay, we're looking at chlorine or chloride, but we're adding an IC ending because this is an acid. Okay, and we're adding the word acid to the, um, to the compound. Okay, to the name of the compound. And these are how you name all binary acids.